like I mentioned before, uh, I like to use trail. You would have seen the tar disappearing from under my feet there, just as the clip started. Not hard to find trail. And this is one of the stretches that I use to uh, improve my cord, a bit of ankle stability, gets the cadence up and it's more fun and uh, whenever I do this session running this hill I'm about to run I run down here and if it's light I do quite a lot of my routes use this road that's next to me so there's a the road and uh, yeah I use this route a lot just in general training runs and if it's light I will run up and down this path so to get some of the benefits that the trail gives me just in my road shoes not worried about trail shoes or anything it's a nice firm firm path so no need for trail shoes and it's just a short stretch but it's uh, I think it's fun and it's got benefits so I'd do it so we're on the top of what's known as Heartbreak Hill and Hillcrest now and uh, this is a nice little a single track that runs down next to our main road it's a uh, fun to ride your mountain bike down here and uh, I enjoy running on it as well it takes a little bit of the impact off your legs makes you think a bit and uh, just takes some of the boredom out of it you run on a single track. Uh, almost done now, just got a couple of case to go. And uh, just kind of uh, enjoy the last little bit, make it a bit more interesting. It's also, uh, in some ways, a bit kind on your body, but a lot of road runners won't touch the trail because of the risk of ankle sprains and things but uh, that's not me I like it enjoy it so I try and include a bit of off-road running into my training if I can makes you nice and strong it's a lot of fun I'm just nearly done for the day. So I'm still on the single track, just coming to the end. And uh, I just thought I'd talk about one of the benefits of actually trail running, I find, is uh, it quickens up your cadence. So I just noticed there, and you'll see now I'm running at 5 minutes a K again which is considerably quicker than I was running for my training run and I'm just allowing my body to kind of do what it feels like and as soon as I ran onto the trail um, I was forced to pick up my cadence and then the increase in cadence rate then naturally increases your speed which uh, as long as you've got the legs left to do it is a really good thing to do at the end of your training run and um, probably slowing down a bit now yeah it's just one of those things about trail so I'm on tape now uh, enjoying a bit of trail running it's a bit easier on the legs and I've got a nice flat trail with hardly any undulation change that I can run on so it just uh, helps leg recover but still we'll get some mileage and get some running in to keep moving and enjoy the trails I just find that trail running is a little bit easier on my legs so when I'm trying to recover I like to do it uh, and I can also incorporate it with some barefoot running and uh, when I do this particular trail it does have hardly any elevation change I'm running directly next to a river the Amgani River um, down near my canoe club and uh, 
I can incorporate some barefoot running. There's hardly any elevation change, so I use it as like a recovery run. And whenever I just need to keep moving, uh, like in taper, um, I like to run on here. Uh, and it's just an easy run. It's really fun. I enjoy the trails. Uh, it's not too technical. And then there is the golf course, which as long as there aren't too many golfers on the course, uh, it's available for us to run on. Uh, so you just got to come down at the right time. And you can run barefoot. So I just run slowly and on the flat. It's really good for foot strength. And if your feet are strong and your hips are strong, you're a long way along the road to developing your potential as a runner and staying injury free. So why is barefoot running good? First of all, you've got to be able to do it. Uh, yeah, you've got to you've got to be biomechanically sound enough to to do it. I do it pretty regularly. I haven't done much in the last few weeks because I find it difficult to get it in with doing comrades' mileage. But I generally do run a few kilometres barefoot at least once a week as part of another run. Uh, I'll just try and squeeze in a few kilometres. Um, you can't just leap into barefoot running um, with disregard. Uh, it does put a lot of extra demand on your feet and on your calves. Um, so you've got to be mechanically sound in order to be using it. Um, it does make your feet really, really strong, um, which then obviously helps you deal with load better. And if, you're, if you can have strong feet in your shoes, then obviously it helps even more. Shoes tend to make feet lazy. Um, so trying to get my feet working as naturally as possible, even when they're in shoes, by doing this. Um, if you do want to start doing it, you got to start very, very slowly with a little bit at a time, um, and then build up. Um, <clears throat> I don't believe in doing it on hard surfaces. I always do it on grass. Um, just, um, well, number one, it makes your feet work harder. And number two, just those hard surfaces like cement and tar, those are not natural surfaces. So if you're trying to emulate natural running, you've got to run on a natural surface. Um, obviously, a lot of trails and that, you don't want to cut your feet either. So that's why I pick grass either like a sports field or this particular golf course is where I normally do it and yeah it is really good for your biomechanics making your feet strong dealing with load better helps everything uh, in as a direct result of your feet being able to deal with the load so not going for too long today almost gonna almost time to put the shoes back on and uh, head back to the clubhouse for a shower short run today